You 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 want to hear a awesome uh, story that was then told? I, to- I do, and then I want to get on to a Disney story. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is true story happened three nights ago. It was told. Okay, the city has a cab service. Did you know that? I mean, you yeah. know, there's there's the local cab service. You know, there's Uber and and. Uh, Lyft, and then there's, you know, your independent cab companies, but the city of Cincinnati has an actual cab service. Now, they subcontract it out to a cab company, but What's it's company? a city. Uh, I don't, it's called Your Cab, and I don't know if that's a DBA or whatever. Uh, it could be from what it, it could be a sublet of a major cab company, as far as I know, but they're okay. basically, they all run, um, uh, uh, old uh, police cruisers, um, uh, the, Crown the Vicks. The, yeah, they run Crown Vicks and they're black and white. They're all black, they got a white hood, white roof. And, um, anyway, it's a city cab company, you know, and they go through like a ci- city of Cincinnati dispatcher, you know, and whatnot. So, um, I'm not going to say what area this was because none of our listeners will know this, you know. If I told you where it was, you would know exactly where it is. You'd be like, oh, yeah. Shit, I'm really <laughs> but, yeah. But there was a guy I happen to know. He just he's just kind of a random friend. I know him because he's I work third shift and he runs cab third shift. And we've interacted for probably three or four years. You know, I've run into him. He runs into me. What not? You know, mm-hmm. yeah. He comes in the other night. He's just like, you know, he's like, I've been driving a cab for 30 years. And he said, I saw something the other day that I've never, ever seen in my life. He said, it's amazing. And I'm like, well, Terry, you've got to tell me about this. Because (laughs) if you've been driving a cab for 30 years and you've seen something you've never seen in 30 years, I got to know this story. (laughs) he's, He's sitting in this parking lot off of Warsaw Avenue. Just to, for, for your information. I, bingo. Okay. I know exactly. Okay. Used to be a KFC. Now it's just a vacant parking lot. Anyway, he's like, he's sitting there and there's another cabbie and they're side by side bullshitting, you know, sitting in the cars waiting for a call. And he said, some girl, white chick, Mid twenties or so, but you know, we, meth heads. You can't really. It's hard to tell age with meth heads. Rides up on a bike and she's got a pit bull on a leash. So this guy pulls up in a car. Black dude gets out, and he's like, "They." She hands him money. He hands her dope, and he's like, "They're and, he, and he's literally. He's like, "We're like 25, 20, 25 yards away from it, watching this transaction goes down." She looks at the guy and she's like, look, I want all your money and all your dope or I'm going to let my dog go on you. And he's just like, bitch, you're crazy or something along those lines. And he said she reached into her pocket and pulled something out of her pocket and reached down and like put it in front of the dog's nose. And he said, this dog went fucking ape shit. He's like pulling on the leash, barking, raising hell. And she's like, I'm going to release this dog if you don't give me your money and your dope. So he reaches into his pocket, pulls out, he said, this big wad of cash and throws it to her. Reaches into his other pocket, pulls out some dope, probably, you know, meth, heroin, whatever, throws it to her. She picks it up off the ground. She's like, I know you got a gun in your pocket. I want your gun or I'm going to release the dog. And he's like, bitch, I'm going to kill you. You are dead. And she's, and he said, she said, I'm not even worried about that. Give me your fucking gun. He reached into his back pocket, pulled out a little pocket rocket, threw it to her, you know, on the ground. She picked it up, put it in her pocket. And at that point, she released the fucking dog. And he said, this dog ate this motherfucker up. He's like, at that point, she got on her bike, rode away. He's like, I got on my cell phone and called 911 and said, man, this guy's being eat up by this pit bull. You need to get someone out here like right now. And he said, you know, it didn't take long because, you know, District 3 is right down the street from this location. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, paramedics rolled in. Cops rolled in. Who got there first, paramedics or the cops? The cops got there first. Then the paramedics shortly thereafter. And check this out. He said the paramedic walked up to this dog. With a with a hypodermic, and he said he he hit this dog in the like in the hip, like the ass area, 
And he said the dog went down quick. He's like, I don't know what the hell it was. He said, I've never seen anything like it. It's the craziest damn thing. And he said, but this guy's arm from his shoulder all the way down to the end of his hand was nothing but fucking raw meat. This dog ate his ass up. She rode away. Now, now the thing, the moral of this story is someone probably, this was like three days ago, so someone's probably dead by now. Either the drug dealer, because he can't pay his dope man, because he gave all his dope and money away, or the mm. girl, because this, this was her dope guy, so they probably know everything about her and where she hangs out. She, she so, lives within 10 blocks max of this, of this incident. Oh, yeah, you know what? I guarantee you she lives within four blocks of where yeah. this went down. Look, either she's dead or going to be dead soon, or he's dead. Why? But someone's going to die over this. Yeah, but you know what? But, it's, like the, it's like the gun form thing. I have a dog. You have a gun. Who's going to win this fight? Who's going to win this robbery? And it's like the internet would pick, would pick wrong. <laughs> well, you see, here's the thing. And I'm going to go with the internet guy, because this is what the internet guy would say. I would say, when she said, give me your money and your dope, I would be like, okay. And instead of reaching for the money and the dope, I would have reached for my gun. I'd have shot the dog. Then I'd have shot her. But in reality, he gave her the dope, the money, and the gun, and he got ate up by a fucking pit bull. Mm -hmm. That's now, think about, but think, That's a but, true fucking story. But think about this. Think about this for a minute. Actually, I'm... I have I have some things to add about that street, but um, so think about the average gun that is recovered on the street, okay? Pocket rocket of some kind. Eh, sometimes you'll see a full size gun, but a lot of times it'll be a smaller gun. May yep. work, may not work. Typically yep. loaded with ball ammo. If it's not loaded yep. with ball ammo, it may not work. So think yep. about some gun that you haven't shot a whole lot because you really have it for self protection. Yep. With you know, with suboptimal ball ammo versus a raging pit bull three feet from you. Yeah. If you start shooting, who's going to win that? Uh, the pit bull is going to win that. Probably the pit bull because you know I'm I'm thinking about my gun, my ammo, what I carry. My skill, but I'm not the 20 year old gangbanger who actually thinks, um, uh, oh, what's the uh, the Al Pacino movie? Scarf. I'm not the 20 year old gangbanger that thinks Scarface is real. I know, you know, I mean, but you know, at the end of the day, the guy got his arm chewed up, and as long as his dope guy doesn't kill him over the, over the whole situation. He's probably better off giving her the shit going on because yeah, if he because, yeah, yeah, you're better off because if you have to shoot this girl and, and kill her, then you retract so much heat. Basically, we'll settle this later. Exactly. And, yeah. and you know, if he doesn't end up dying in the situation, she eventually will. If she's not already dead, she will be dead soon. And that may sound callous, but that's street fucking justice. She I wonder where she got the dog from. Oh man, everyone in Price Hill has pit bulls. I know they. Well, you. Hey, by the way, remember how you said you weren't going to say the neighborhood? You made the street and the neighborhood, and I am not yeah. going to edit that no, shit no, out either. No, well, hold on a second. I don't really care about naming the street and the neighborhood. I'm just saying that that ninety nine point nine 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 percent of our listeners won't have any clue what I'm talking about because you know they, they that, don't. Know. Is that White Castle still? Is that White Castle still over there on Warsaw Avenue? Yeah, and I'll tell you what: you take your life into your hands every time you go in there and order a freaking slider. Oh, I um, I uh, that White Castle was a place where um, where you know I I am intimately familiar with stolen guns were sold out of that White Castle parking lot. <laughs> yeah, and we'll just yeah, leave it at that. That, that as, is as, a, not... as a as a as a matter of fact, a Glock. 10 millimeter model 20 was sold out of that parking lot. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, so how's that for pocket rocket? 